Hello toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now, it's a nice rainy day here in Australia today. Um, you might be able to hear a little bit of the, the rain in the background, so on a nice rainy day, it's good to stay inside and we're going to do a restoration video for you today. Um, I've got here an old uh, General Hawk G.I. Joe figure from the Real American Hero line. I believe this is a 1986 uh, figure. A um, little bit worse for wear, as you can see the, uh, the O-ring is broken, there's a few other issues with him. So um, without further ado, we're going to get stuck straight into the, uh, the restoration. Okay, so a few of the items you might need when um, restoring an old G.I. Joe figure. Uh, I've got a selection of different types of tweezers here, um, some small screwdrivers, um, a Stanley knife or box cutter, uh, a toothbrush for cleaning, um, O-rings, uh, I'll show you how to uh, replace the O-ring in a G.I. Joe today and some uh, PTFE thread sealant tape. Um, I've also got here a selection of, uh, of modelling paints. Um, most of the paint loss on this figure is from his boots and his hair, so I only really need the black and, and the brown. The rest of the paint seems, seems fairly good. Um, I've also got some, um, some white vinegar, some plain um, dishwashing liquid, a couple of very fine paint brushes, and if you're like me on a cold day like this, a nice cup of coffee to keep me going. Okay, so with, with most toys, I always start off with the cleaning process. A little bit of dishwashing liquid onto a toothbrush. Uh, now, normally I like to fully disassemble a toy so you can get into all the, the nooks and crannies. Uh, one of the main reasons I don't disassemble a G.I. Joe figure fully um, before cleaning uh, is because um, there are small pins um, that are used for the knee joint. Um, scrub a little bit too hard with the toothbrush, you can actually break them off. Um, so I'm going to use the, the three main pieces that we already have here today. Um, his legs, the, um, the hip area, and the upper torso and head. I'm just going to clean these three pieces at a time. So I've got a little bit of water in the sink here, some nice warm water. I'm just going to go ahead and give him a scrub. And finally, the legs. Shouldn't take you too long, just scrub the whole area. Obviously it's gonna take longer if the figure's really dirty. And then, uh, then we'll just dry them off with a tea towel. As you can see, his knee joints have become very loose. Obviously the child who had this figure um, played with it a lot. The knees have become very loose over time. Um, so we need to, to repair those. So I said that once we disassemble it, there'll be three main repairs that we do. Will be the knees, um, then the, the O-ring that holds the body together, and then finally the paint touch-ups. Okay, so to start off with, we need to fully disassemble the figure. So you need a small uh, like watchmaker screwdriver uh, into the back there. the screwdriver out of the back, uh, the screw sorry, out of his back and then you can pull apart the torso and as you can see here is the broken o-ring. Okay then we need to take apart the legs. Now you can see here the screws in the legs have a little bit of rust in them so what we're going to do, and they're quite tight, <coughs> So once we get the screws out, we're going to pop them into some white vinegar and leave them to soak in the white vinegar. Okay, so now the screws are out. Very gently take apart the thighs, so each leg will end up into three pieces. And I like to lay them out so I know which is the left leg and which is the right leg. Got some white vinegar in here, so I'm just going to drop the screws in there, leave them to soak. 
And then as we get towards the end of the restoration, we want to reassemble the figure. Um, that white vinegar should hopefully scrape out uh, most of the, the rust. To repair the knees, this is a very neat little trick, um, which I actually picked up from another YouTube channel called Toy Poloi, and I'll, uh, I'll place a link in the video um, so you can go and have a look on, on his channel there. Um, Toy Poloi is a fantastic YouTube channel um, with excellent tips on, on restoring and repairing all kinds of, of vintage toys. Now, to repair the knee here, um, this pin that the knee goes through becomes very loose over time. So the best way to, to fix this um, is some, some, some PTFE tape. Now what you want to do, cut off a strip and then cut it down the middle to make it a lot thinner. And now here comes the tricky part. You have to try and wrap this thread around. Okay, so once that's done, then we can press on the lower part of the limb. And you can tell almost instantly When you press it back together, now the knees are tied again. And now before we can replace the O-ring, uh, we actually need to put the screws back into the, the legs of this, this figure. So I'm going to take them out of the white vinegar now. And actually using the screwdriver, we should be able to wipe away all of the uh, rusty parts of the screw. O-ring into the, uh, the the metal hook in the crutch. Pass over. Okay, make sure the left hand goes on the left hand side and the right arm goes on the right hand side. This can be a little bit fiddly trying to hold all the pieces in place at one time. Once you get them all there. Uh, there's two locating pins down the bottom here where the front of the torso joins the back of the torso. So with everything in place, try and clip it in like so. That is much better. Once it's all together, drop your screw into the back. And tighten the screw. Um, all this really takes is a steady hand. If you don't have a steady hand, then uh, obviously you may need to get someone else to help. Um, I don't like to repaint the whole head. I'll literally just touch up the few spots that are missing. And this brown isn't a perfect match. Just a couple of little spots on his head. There, General Hawk's face looking much, much better. Now then, when you're ready for the black, you want to clean the, uh, the brown paint off your paintbrush. Make sure if you're using, you can use just sort of an enamel or an acrylic paint. Um, make sure you buy the, the right paint thinners. I'm using an enamel paint, so I have a enamel paint thinner here. Some black paint. Uh, and there's a lot of black paint touch-ups to be done, so on the boots. Again, I'm not going to paint the whole boot, I'm just going to touch up the areas where there's a little bit of paint loss. Moving on from the boots, there's a little bit of paint loss here on his uh, pistol holster. We'll touch that up. On the hips. Okay. And now I'm going to allow him to dry. Obviously, I don't want to get the paint on everything, so most of the paint's on his boots there. So we're going to allow the paint a little bit of time to dry.
And here we have the before and after photos. So did you enjoy this video? Leave us a comment in the section below and don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest videos featuring vintage toys.